Hi, I'm Jason and welcome to Dosatron University. Today, Dosatron service and maintenance video series features servicing your Dosatron D14MZ2 14 GPM injector using our seal kit. Before we start, make sure the injector is clicking. If not, please watch the D14MZ2 troubleshooting video. To service your D14MZ2 injector, you will need the complete seal kit. To begin, unscrew the suction hose nut and remove the suction hose. Unscrew the injection stem nut and pull the injection stem straight out from the body of the injector. Set the nut and body aside. Unscrew and remove the check valve nut. Grab the barb and pull the check valve assembly straight out and discard. Unscrew and remove the lock nut. Then remove the C-clamp by spreading the opening and sliding it down over the threads. Unscrew and remove the adjusting nut. Push the white injection stem up and out of the black sleeve. Remove and replace the injection stem O-ring. Then remove and replace the sleeve O-ring. Next, align the groove in the white stem with the tooth inside the lower portion of the black sleeve and slide the stem down in as far as possible. Thread the adjusting nut back onto the black sleeve. Replace the C-clamp by sliding it over the threads. Rotate it until it clicks into place and then thread on the lock nut and hand tighten. You can now install the new check valve assembly into the stem and reinstall the check valve nut. Set the stem aside and pick up the blue body. Remove the plunger seal by pinching and rolling it off the plunger. Install the new plunger seal into the groove on the plunger. To finish up, align the notches in the lower part of the blue body with the teeth on the top of the injection stem assembly. Reinstall the nut hand tight. If the scale you prefer is not facing out, just loosen the stem nut and remove. Pull the stem down slightly, rotate, and push it back up. Reinstall the nut hand tight. Before installing the suction hose, inspect it. If it flares out, cut an inch or so off and reinstall or if the suction hose is cracked, rigid, or looks really old, just replace it. Now, thread the suction hose nut onto the hose. Slide the hose onto the barb and hand tighten the nut. We hope this video has been helpful in servicing your D14MZ2 14 GPM injector. For more information, give us a call at 800-523-8499 or visit us online at dosatronusa.com. To see our other videos, check out our YouTube channel or videos link on our website. I'm Jason and this is Dosatron University.